Hi and welcome back for another how-to video. Um, this time we're looking at how to spot prospects, uh, top prospects, even if you're not in contact with them. So again, let's start from the view that most salespeople will have every day, an inbox full of emails. It's impossible just from that view to know who are your best prospects based on who's the most engaged. And you're you're only going to know the people that you're in contact with. So what we're saying is let's use the HubSpot CRM to give you a view to see the wood for the trees. So instead of just staring at uh, a full inbox, let's jump into the CRM and we'd go straight to the contact section. Um, now there's a lot of contacts in the CRM here on this view. We've got 996 contacts. Um, they're difficult to keep track of. So what we've done is set up a view and we've just called it hot leads. So we can save lots of different views with different search criteria. Let's come down to here. So um, hot leads. And there we go. Let me wait for it to load up. So you can see on the left, let's go through how we've kind of created this view. On the left, we we only want to see people that are still opted in to get our emails. If somebody's unsubscribed, they're probably not that interested. So anybody that's unsubscribed, let's move them out. Um, and by unsubscribed, I'm talking about one-to-one -one sales emails, not mass email marketing. This information in front of us is all about one-to-one -one sales conversations. The next one is we only want to see contacts where we know the email address because we want to be able to keep in touch with them. Next down um, is sequences. So if they're already in a sequence, which is uh, multi-stage sales campaigns made up of emails and tasks, then that activity will run on its own. So here we want to see people that aren't currently being prospected to or are maybe on one-to-one -one sales emails. Um, or one-to-one or -one phone calls. Um, next, we want to exclude any categories of contacts um, that aren't a target buyer. And, and for us, that's suppliers um, or people marked as private. Um, and next, because this is a prospecting view um, for new customers, we want to exclude anybody that's currently a customer. Um, and last, we use lead status as part of our sales process. So if somebody's shown as unqualified, it means they're just not the right person. So we don't want to see those. So then coming back into the view, um, we can then see standard information, um, name, company name. Um, we can also change the view to see email address. Um, but for the purpose of this uh, video, we will keep that hidden for now. The bit that's interesting is we can see last activity date. Now that can be what we've done to them, but it can all be what also be what they've done. So they might start looking at an email again, one of our sales emails. They might open, click, they might engage with our content. And if they do that, then the last activity date is going to update. So we can come in here and you can see that I've got it sorted by last activity date. And really what we want to see here is when we've last contacted them, we want to know that this product prospect has done something since then and that means they've done something they're engaged and where this is interesting is if they stopped being a prospect and maybe didn't reply to our messages if at some point in the future they start to look at emails again they're going to pop back up into this view so no one gets missed they go in the CRM um, they get a one-to-one -one sales activity if it doesn't come to anything and they want to, then they can just stay on our standard mailing list for monthly newsletters. But if they start to engage in our content again, without us knowing about it, we're going to see it here. Um, we can also see how many pieces of sales activity have gone on. So we might want to focus on people with slightly more sales activity because they know we know they've been nurtured for more. And we can see if there's any activity uh, coming up in the future. So really, it's about being able to spot hot prospects um, without even being in contact with somebody. And for somebody that might have been in your database or CRM for well over a year. 
that's it for this one. Um, thanks for watching and check back again for the next how-to. Bye.